what's your name? My name is Alison Jaya. Do you mind me asking how old you are? I'm 49. OK. And uh, do you have a job? I do. I, I work as a singer, do a lot of backing vocals on TV shows and commercials. So and you don't want to be in the background anymore? Do you know what? I love being in the background. I love what I do, and I'm really grateful for that sort of work. But I have a lot more that I want to achieve. <laughs> this is it. This is your moment. Good luck. Um, you know what? That was probably one of the best vocals we've ever had on the show. <laughs> because it was like all the years of doing these commercials, being behind the scenes, getting frustrated, and this was your one shot, and my God, you took it. David? We always say on the show, you know, you've got two minutes to change your life. And in that two minutes, we saw a star being born to me. That was mighty. It was magnificent. It was powerful. <laughs> you've made some hugely brave decisions in your life. And this was one of them coming on this stage. And it's paid off. That was an incredible... Incredible audition, so well done. <laughs> We're gonna take a vote. David? The biggest yes I've ever given. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name's Tom Ball. Tom Ball? Tom Ball, yeah. Oh, Tom Ball. So, yeah, Thomas Ball, Tom Ball. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Tom Ball. He does look like Mr. Tom Ball. Right, Tom. And where are you from? I'm from uh, West Sussex, near Brighton. Oh, great. How old are you? I'm 23. OK. Oh, he's a baby. You look very happy, Tom. Yes. I'm very excited. Are you? I'm really excited, yeah. OK, who are you here with? Uh, I'm here with my fiance and fiance? my dad. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Who oh, is the image of his dad? Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Yeah. OK, and what do you do for a living, Tom? I'm a secondary school teacher. Are you? Oh, bless him. I 
love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. The kids don't know I'm here either. Are I'm, you serious? Uh, yeah, I wanted it to be a surprise. And God, what if it goes badly? If it goes badly, then it goes badly. I mean, it would be really, <laughs> really bad. The children that you teach, do they know that you have this particular talent? Most don't. I think I've only sung to like one of my oh, classes. So oh, singing. so you're a singer? Singing. Oh, yeah, singer. Yeah, Brilliant. I sing. Okay. okay. And is there one artist out there who you've gone, I could be as big as him with the right opportunity? I'm compared to Michael Ball quite a lot. Uh, and the last name helps with it as well. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, good luck. Thank you. to the top of the class, Tom Ball. <laughs> well, Tom. Wow. Who knew what a powerhouse you were? Thank you. That was an exceptional audition. I mean, one of the best singers we've had in the last 16 years. Thank you so much. I really felt moved by that vocal and that performance. It was really, really special your lovely character, personalities, yeah. sweetness, humility, all of that mixed together just made for the perfect audition.
thank you so much. And you know what, Tom? There's lots and lots and lots of good singers out there. I always believe your personality plays a huge part in these auditions as well. There's something very likeable about you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's a single person in this room who wanted you to fail. I'm so happy you came. I'm so happy. Right, David. Do you never forget a good teacher? How lucky your kids are to have you teaching them because you seem like such a lovely person. You've got this exceptional talent. Thank you. So, Tom, let me give you your first yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure to give you a yes. A yes from me. I think you've got about 4,000 yeses. Well done, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Tombo. Tombo, Tombo, Tombo. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, lovely to meet you. What's your name? My name is Innocent Masugu. Can I just say, you look amazing. Thank you. Thank well, you. I love that top. Yeah. I love it. So this was actually made by my mum, yeah. Aww. That's so cute. It looks really nice on you. We're <laughs> <laughs> moving to fashion. OK. <laughs> it's all right. Great. OK, well, look, tell me about you. I'm Innocent Masugo from South Africa, but I live in London. OK, now, do you think you're going to win? Yes. <laughs> OK. Well, I think we, let's find out. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> E tira forte il vento That's special, isn't it? Vanno al mondo di Suriento Un uomo in braccio, una ragazza Dopo che aveva pianto Poi si schierisce la voce E ricomincia il canto
for words. I found that overwhelming, yes. actually. Yep. By the end of that song, I felt like I was just hit in the chest with this force, like it felt divine almost. Yeah. This is your calling. Oh, I couldn't agree more. It was very, very special. You are special. Diamond says it every year. We've got to keep raising the bar when we're looking for talent. You we have can't to. look back. We have to have people who go beyond our expectations. And that's exactly what you did today. Hands down, in the 17 years that we've been doing Britain's Got Talent, you are by far the best opera singer we have ever had. Oh, wow. I think it was because your mum made your top. Yes, yeah. yes, it's the energy problem. <laughs> I'm really curious, have you had people who've said you're not very good? The worst thing was uh, you won't get really far with opera, so stop. I hope this idiot is watching this <laughs> right now. Me too. <laughs> because that was wonderful. I mean, seriously, wonderful. So heartfelt and so powerful. You deserve this break. You really, really do. I have a feeling I know which way this is going. Bruno. Yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. Amanda. It's a yes from me. What do you think? Yeah. That's about 4,000 yeses. Oh. Never, 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 never for me. Oh, oh my innocence. goodness! You're amazing! Oh. What a great audition. That was unbelievable. It was. This year it's all about real people, it feels like. Yeah, you're right. Okay. What's your name? Olivia Archbold. And what have you come to do? I've come to sing. What are you going to sing? In the Arms of the Angels. OK. Love that song. Great. All right, well, when you're ready. Thank you. <clears throat> Here we go. It's a hard song to sing. Spend all your time waiting Binding. 
I mean, you've got such a lovely quality to your voice. A very professional and confident performance. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, I think, Olivia, what I really like about you is I don't think you know how good you are. But you came on and you were very shy and very humble, and then you just sang utterly beautifully. Yeah. So you're so nervous, Olivia. I mean, even now, you're shaking. We've had a lot of kid singers come out. When I say kid, I mean, you're 14, young singers, taking on a song which is just way, way too big for them. You sang that so well, and you made it your version of the song. I am so, so impressed with you, Olivia. I can't tell you. Wow. Here's yes or no? Yes. Amanda? Yes, from me. Simon? Three yeses. But Simon in a good mood, the audience were on their feet. That was fantastic. How do you feel? <laughs> fantastic. Yeah? Well done. Congratulations. You. See well you done. in the next round. How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 30 years old and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. OK. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Please be good.
了他。哦。Is there any one word I could use to describe that? Golden. Stunning performance. Stunning. Totally flawless. Very composed. I looked over at your mum and sister, and they were in bits. So you did you did yourself so proud. It was beautiful. I don't know what you're channeling. But whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a, a trance. I agree. It was like being in heaven. That was stunning. That was effortless. I was in tears because you really touched me, and it's very simple. You sang like an angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on this show. Really, that means a lot. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. What's your name? My name is Lifford.、Uh, Lifford. I'm from、uh, South London. So tell me, what's the dream? Why are you on Britain's Got Talent? Why、oh, hasn't man. this? Oh man, it's it's to to perform in front of you beautiful people. And my wife, she loves、uh, the royal family, so I want to buy her a hat. Is that true? And,、uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come to the royal variety performance. <laughs> But mostly just to have a good time and, and sing a song, man, and, and just be here. You know, it's a big deal me being here. We're with you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, Frank. Yes. 
it will now. What's your name, please? My name's Jay. Where are you from, Jay? I'm from Scotland. Scotland? Yeah. What are you doing for a living currently, Jay? At the moment, I work as a support worker. OK, very good. This is your big moment. Very best of luck to you. Thank you. Come on, Jay. Yes.
three quarters of the way into it, I could see you sort of trembling and welling up, and then you belted that last bit out with everything you had. Well done. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh, Jay, your little knees were trembling yeah. throughout that. <laughs> your voice is so powerful. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Absolutely nailed it. You got heart, emotion, and you know you can let go of the microphone, man. <laughs> Relax, you did it. You. Okay, um, let's vote on it, Jai. David. Yes. Amanda. I'm proud to say yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Jai. It's three yeses. Many congratulations. Are you? My heart is pretty much up here in my throat. <laughs> Tell me briefly your story and why you're here. Well, my name is Belinda Davids. I'm 43 years old and I'm from South Africa and I'm here to further my career. Oh my, I'm shaking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what has been your career path so far? Well, I'm a singer. Yeah. And, uh, I do uh, Whitney Houston songs. Well, those are tough shoes to fill. I got the privilege of meeting her a couple of times, and she was just the most amazing person. She had this glow yeah. about her. Yeah. Really do. So out of all the Whitney songs, why this song? <laughs> it reminds me so much of my boys. I have two boys. And the most important things for me to do is to make my kids proud. Okay. Yeah. And now we know each other. Now the nerves are gone and everyone loves you. Let's do the performance of all time. Go smash it down!
What a way to end the show. OK, let me go to David first, please. You've created such a massive moment tonight for all of us. So thank you. Thank you so much. What a way to close an amazing run of auditions with a class act. I want to see the name Belinda Davids in lights. You are amazing. You have that ability to move us with your voice. It was great. Thank you so much. This was just a fantastic end to a fantastic tour. I absolutely adore you, but still got to vote. I'm going to say yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. And you've just got 4,000 yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. I love her. That was the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, 100%. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, everyone. My name's Sydney Christmas. Is it? Sydney yes. Christmas. <laughs> That's an unbelievable name. I, I love know. that. It's terrible, isn't it? It's not. My middle name's worse. What is, what is it? it? Mary. No. <laughs> Your mum seriously name you that? No, I'm joking. Yeah. I really want <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Oh, my gosh, that is genius. <laughs> Sydney, where are you from? Raised in Kent, just moved to London. <laughs> are you a student? Do you work? What do you do? I'm currently working front of house at a gym. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fantastic, but that's not what you want to do. No, absolutely not. What just do you... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> What do you want to do, Sydney? I'm trying to be in the West End. I just want to sing. Oh, oh bless her. What are you going to sing for us today? Uh, the first song that I ever sung, actually. I haven't sung it in 24 years. How old are you? You look 24. 28. <laughs> <laughs> 20 great. Good answer. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. So what song did you sing it for? Uh, tomorrow. Uh. From Annie. From Annie, yeah. Oh, Simon, that is Simon's worst song. <laughs> Hopefully I'll sing it better than when I was four oh, as well. Well, well. So do we. I can't wait. Thank you. Mercy! Mercy! Come on, Sydney. Come on, Sydney. Let's have it. <laughs> The sun will come out tomorrow, but she bottom dollar there tomorrow. There'll be sun just thinking about tomorrow, clears away the cobwebs and the sun.
about you is just like how naturally funny how warm how brilliant your presence was the minute you walked on the stage but how you were like entertaining everyone but then you brought us the most heartfelt beautiful version of that song and that was the best version I have ever heard in my life so I'm gonna do this We, we just heard in the room, it, it was, you know, it's rare. Thank you so much. Thanks for screaming for me. Everyone's aware, you know, it's tough to get that break, you know, for something which you really love. You so deserve what you just got. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your control was amazing. And... I used to hate that song, and now I absolutely love it. Good for you. That was Amazing. brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. See you in the live show. Yeah, <laughs> what just happened there? She really deserved that, though, Charles. So good, yeah. She probably give me chills all over my body. I was like, oh, my God. Everybody was just in the palm of your hand. I have never experienced anything like that. Really? Ever. I really felt hurt. That was something. Oh, good. I'll never forget that. I look at her and I go, my daughter's going to love her, my nan's going to love her, and my mum's going to love her. Yeah. That's how I always judge it, like the three different generations. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. What is your name? My name's Kathleen Jenkins. Hello, Kathleen. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Newport in South Wales. And what do you do for a living? I'm a cleaner and a builder's merchant. OK. And have you brought anyone with you today? I've brought my husband and my father. 
there. No, they're over there. <laughs> Brilliant. Is this the biggest audience that you've ever performed in front of? Most definitely, yeah. Do you feel a bit nervous? I'm nervous, I am. Best of luck, Kathleen. Thank you very much. so emotional right from the start and um, you really sang it with all your heart and soul you've got this god-given talent and the world needs to hear it thank you kathleen i'm so happy for you i know you said you were nervous but i think all of that added to your charm and there's something about your story and you that i want to get to know more It's becoming rarer and rarer to find people who are genuine and who sing with heart. So thank you for auditioning for Britain's Got Talent because you are what this show is all about. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kathleen, I've been waiting for you all day. Someone who's just got it. Thank you. I love everything about you. I love the tone of your voice. I love the way you controlled the song. Thank you. That means so much. Thank you very much. I think you're really, really special, Kathleen. Thank you. 
I love you, Kathleen. It's a yes. Thank you. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. The easiest yes I've given today. Four oh, yeses. Right. She's amazing. Well done. You've done absolutely amazing. Thank you. I love this girl. Great. Love her, love her, love her. Uh, I'm Gruffydd Wynn Roberts. Uh, I'm Welsh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm 22 and I live in a small island called Anglesey in North Wales okay. with, with, with my nan. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> What's your grand's name? My nan's called Alwena. That's a great name. Alwena. <laughs> and why don't you live with your mum and dad? Um, well, I don't. Uh, I. I. Um, sorry. Um, I live with my nan because um, uh, I haven't known my father till I was 16. Um, and uh, yeah, this is quite hard, sorry. Um, yeah. Go on, Griff. Go on, Griff! Go on, Griff! Were you going to sing? Yeah, I'm going to sing for you today, yeah. And what's the dream? Just selling out theatres like this, hopefully. All right, well, good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, Griffin, I want to say something to you. Okay. Because you're very nervous. Yeah. This was very cold and mechanical for me. I sense there's more in there. I want to hear that warmth, that richness. I want you to just let go for a second. Okay. What else you got? Um, I've got Ness and Dorma. Let's do that. Have a glass of water. Yeah. Yeah. That's real up. Thank you. <laughs> you all right? Good night. All right. Take a big breath. All right? Good night. Griffin, how good do you think you are out of 10? Out of 10, I'd say I'm about a six at the moment. That's what we just got. I want an eight. And above.
What's your name, my love? Uh, Rachel Wooding. And how old are you, Rachel? I'm 37. Do you have a day job? Well, at the minute, I'm a mum. Right. I've got a little girl who's 11 months. Aww. Before, I was a singer in musical theatre. OK. <laughs> and what's the, what's the biggest role you played? I did um, We'll Rock You Here. Oh, wow. Which <laughs> meant on. What did you play? Scaramouche. Have you got an itchy leg? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> what's, what, what, what's going on? Absolutely nothing <laughs> happening at all. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. So why are you nervous, Rachel? Oh, I know people say this, but, like, having a baby, I'm the same person, but it does change it. It's like, I'm still me, but I'm not. <laughs> You're more tired. I, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> OK, well, good luck. I picked up your shirts this morning I don't know why I don't know why Mr. Reynolds said to say hello I started to cry I started to cry Every place we
Natasha. I just want to congratulate you. There's something so winning about you. You're such a lovely person. Thank you. You really took us to the place that we all want to go to when we listen to music. We all felt something. It was wicked. <laughs> You're a naturally gregarious, charming person. And you made me feel very vulnerable and you moved me and it was just a wonderful performance. It was gorgeous. Well done. Uh, Rachel, when you sang, there was something which I call the perfect silence, which means that everyone literally is focused on you. This was the most beautiful version of this song I've ever heard. I just kept on thinking throughout that, that you could be singing that song, exactly that performance, at the Royal Variety performance. It was absolutely faultless. I'm blown away. But we're going to vote. Rachel, I adore you. It's a yes. Thank you. Massive yes from me. Thank you very much. It's a yes from me. Well done. Thank you. You got four big bad yeses. Welcome. What's your name? My name's Lauren. And where are you from? From Brooklyn, New York. Is that right? Yes. So why Britain's Got Talent? Most of my favorite singers are from the UK, so I thought I'd come pay a visit to you guys. OK. So, Lauren, tell me a bit about you. Uh, I think some of you guys have actually heard my voice, but you don't know my face. Um, I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Sh Showman. No. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Blew their minds! Oh, my God! So I was hired to do the reference vocals for the actresses so they could learn the songs. And so they had me come in and sing Never Enough. And it really was Rebecca Ferguson who plays Jenny Lind who said, I think that Lauren should sing the song. And I'll lip sync. So you sang one of the biggest songs of all time. You've now revealed it wasn't the actress who sang the song in the movie. It was you singing that song. So why didn't you get that big deal after the song? I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes, but I feel kind of like the song was meant for me and I'm, I'm kind of ready to put a face to the song. So I'm here to do that. Are you going to sing that tonight? Yes. Such a great thing to watch. Good luck. Here we go. Brain scowl. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end I set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? my hand will you share this with me it's darling without you all the shine of a thousand spotlights all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be
I am absolutely shaking. I can't believe I've had this incredible opportunity to give you your moment to shine, because this is it. We were just in palm of your hand from like the first note. I can't think there's been many experiences on this show where we've ever had that feeling. Well, it feels like a superstar's arrived. Like it was, it transcended, it was otherworldly. This is so well deserved because seeing somebody else sing that song in that movie and not have the recognition of doing one of the most incredible vocals ever. And now for you to kind of reveal yourself to the world, it was actually one of the most incredible audition moments I've ever experienced. I'm speechless. Thank you. I'm so happy. Timing in life is everything, and maybe this is your moment now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Your name is... Um, I'm Emma Jones. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. And where are you from? I'm from Wigton in Cumbria. And why have you entered the show? I just um, want to just give it, give it a try and see if, if you like my voice. Are you nervous, Emma? <laughs> All right, well, good luck, sweetheart. Thank you. Hello. 
What's your name? My name is Aliki and I'm 29. And tell me a little bit about yourself. I've been singing ever since I was a little baby. This has been my dream. I just can't believe I'm here today. And do you think you can win this show? I will do my best. I've always learned to fight through different circumstances I've gone through. Like what, Aliki? A few years ago, I was diagnosed with focal encephalitis. What's that? It's an inflammation of the brain, which meant that I couldn't speak, read, write, walk. Wow. My mum would do everything for me. She would feed me, bathe me, and... <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. goodness me, I can't imagine what your mum must be thinking, because that's practically an anthem for her. The words bring me back to life, hear my voice. It was amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. David? When you came on, I thought, I hope your voice is as beautiful as how you look, and it was, it was incredible. You're inspiring so many people, you will, and I'm so glad you came here today. Oh, thank you ever so much, thank you. Simon? Well, you just have a natural talent, Aliki, you know? That lyric was so poignant. And there's something about your energy, Aliki, which is just incredible. It's a yes. Amanda? Yes, absolutely yes. Thank you. I love you, it's a yes. <laughs> Simon? Well, let me tell you. You've got four yeses, congratulations. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Well that was amazing. Thank you. She's amazing. There's something special about her. Brilliant for you. Well done. Thank and you, you got great, so great comments from the judges. Really lovely comments from the judges. And uh, I will be seeing you again. Yes. Yes. Well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your mum. Congratulations. Hello. Hello. Emma. I've gone through to the second she round. She made it. You're Callum, Jade's brother. Are you OK? Yeah. Oh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. I'm 26, I'm from Hull, uh, and I'm singing a cover of a song by Robin. I love Robin. Yeah. It's dancing on my own, but it's a bit slower. OK, whenever you're ready, good luck. <clears throat> Thank you. Somebody said you got a new friend And does she love you better than I can? And there's a big black sky over my town I know where you are, I bet she's around Stilettos and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles And I'm in the corner Watching you kiss her oh, oh, oh. And I'm right over here Why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm giving Oh, 
Oh my God, Simon! And I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the best of me. I'll ever know. There's no way I can ever go. No, no.
Wow. Look, Sarah, I've heard this song a lot. And it started off really well. I thought, yeah, this girl's great. And then it's like you became possessed halfway through. It was quite incredible. And for someone of your age to stand on this stage with all the nerves and all the pressure to absolutely not just nail the song, you made it your song. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. I'm absolutely thrilled that you got a golden buzzer. I mean, it was mind blowing. I couldn't believe that you were only 15. Congratulations. <laughs> You are not allowed to have that much talent at your age. It's insane. And I didn't press that golden buzzer because I wanted Simon to press that golden buzzer. Because I want you to go far, and I think Simon can help you because you are a superstar. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> David? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> um, no, it was fantastic, Sarah. Well done. Thank you so much. Most importantly, enjoy this. I'm thrilled for you and your family. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Lucy Kay. And how old are you? I'm 24. 24. And where are you from, Lucy? Uh, I'm from originally from Nottingham, but I now live in Glasgow. Why? Um, I went there to uh, study um, music, and I, I kind of wanted to get away from bad people. OK, well, best of luck. Thank you. Um... Bless us, really well. First of all, you are a very beautiful girl with an even more beautiful voice. 
to say that. And the incredible thing is, you sung a piece of opera that I don't know, most of us probably in this room don't know, but we were all incredibly moved, and that's testament to how incredible your voice is. Lucy, it was so moving. We were with you all the way, and you should be so proud. You have a gift, and I'm not an expert on opera, but that just felt wonderful to listen to. Great audition. Thank you. Amazing. I just couldn't take my eyes off you and, and I would have listened to that all afternoon. Just beautiful, well done. You know what? I, I, I've heard, unfortunately, a lot of stories like yourself and I think today's the day where you just forget about those people for the rest of your life. And the unfortunate thing is, is that some of the best singers do sing through pain. It's just one of those things. And you've actually learned how to use that. And I saw you change as you felt the audience exception. Today's the day you learn to smile properly because what you just did was extraordinary. Thank you so much. Really, really special. Okay. Right, we're going to vote. David? Lucy, I love you. It's a yes. <laughs> Alicia? Lucy, it's a yes from me. Yes from me, Lucy. I don't want to hear those people ever mentioned again, right? Just about you now and your very, very special talent, Lucy. Got four big fat yet. Thank you so much. Simon does bite, but don't be scared. OK. All right, what's your name? Alice Frednam. And how old are you, Alice? I'm 28. 28, and you're from where? Hertfordshire. Do you have a day job? I'm a beauty therapist. Okay. Have you brought anyone with you today? No. <laughs> no? So your family don't know that you're here? No, I didn't tell anyone because I just thought I'd rather just go it alone and then if I'm not successful, I don't have to admit that to anyone. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Good luck. OK. Thanks. Stay is bad. 
Valentine's been waiting for. Your voice is like liquid gold. You have such an authentically beautiful voice. You look amazing. <laughs> and, you know, you could sing the phone book. Uh, I absolutely love you and I love your voice and I also love the fact that you actually don't even know how good you are. Wow. I have to say that was the most mesmerising, sultry, sexy performance and I fell in love with you. Alice, why are you crying? <laughs> I just don't think I ever expected this kind of response. It was like my dream, and now it's just happened. <laughs> when you sing, you're like a goddess. It's incredible. You're world class. Sniffing everywhere. <laughs> I think Deck fancies you a little bit, doesn't he? More than a little bit. <laughs> so, Alice, and nobody knows you're here today? No, because I, I just didn't want to let anyone down, so I thought I'd just come by myself. You were simply beautiful. Thank you so and much. And you've let no one down. Thank you. OK, we're going to vote. Thank David. I can't wait to hear you sing again. It's a yes. It's a yes from me too. Yes. Thank you. Simon, yes or no? Oh, let me think about this. <laughs> Alice, what is it, Frednum, Frednum? Like Debenhams, Frednum. Alice Frednum. <laughs> I want to remember this name, the day I met Alice Frednum, because I think you're so special. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the easiest yes I've given throughout the whole competition. Congratulations. Where do I go now? <laughs> go and see Dad, because he can't wait to see you. Incredible. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was tremendous! She was amazing. Come here, you had nothing to worry about whatsoever. Oh my God. Well done. How do you feel now? I'm going to sleep so well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. Okay, uh, Susan, and where are you from? I am from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. It's a sort of collection of. It's a collection of. Uh, villages. I had to think there. And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. And that's just one side of me. <laughs> OK, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? I've never been given the chance before, but here's hoping it'll change. OK, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine like Page. That. What are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. 
Okay. Big so. <laughs> yeah? Yes. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Uh, Susan Piers. Without a doubt, that was the biggest surprise I have had in three years on this show. When you stood there with that cheeky grin and said, I, I want to be like a lame page, everyone was laughing at you. No one is laughing now. That was stunning. An incredible performance. Amazing. I'm reeling from shock about you two, but... I am so thrilled because I know that everybody was against you. I honestly think that we were all being very cynical, and I think that's the biggest wake-up call ever. And I just want to say that it was a complete privilege listening to that. It was inspirational. Oh, Susan, I knew the minute you walked <laughs> out... Oh, shine! On that stage, <laughs> that we were going to hear something <laughs> extraordinary, and I was right. <laughs> Quite a lot of touch. Susan, you are a little tiger, aren't you? No, I don't know about that. You are. I don't know about that. OK, moment of truth. Here's yes or no. The biggest yes I have ever given anybody. <laughs> Amanda? Yes, definitely. Susan Boyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high. It's three S's. Yeah. Well, I think you enjoyed that just a little. <laughs> what a voice. Incredible. 
Congratulations! Oh my god! Congratulations! Oh my god. <laughs> How do you feel? Bloody fantastic! <laughs> Pierce says that's the biggest yes he's ever given on the show. In, in three series. Yeah. Oh my god! Mind blowing. Most extraordinary shock. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. Anton Deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! Do you know what? Do you know what he is? And it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Woo! Can we have an hour for that? Come on. Finish our nice job. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> you know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. I just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> what, what, would you feel more comfortable if you gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. <laughs> give him a hug. Come on. Hug it out. Come give me a hug. Hug it out. That's it. Come on, give me a hug. Come on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. No, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. That nice. That nice. Look at that. What a beautiful picture. What a beautiful picture. I feel like we should get to know each other a bit closer. Please. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my name is uh, Vigo. My name is Mark. My, oh, yeah. my name is Mark. My name is Vigo. Is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to? No. Oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> my name is Mark. My name is Mark. My, 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 my name is Vigo. My name is Bruno. My name is Vigo. You are Bruno, the new guy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the new guy. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favorite so and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Oh, in America? In America, yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are. don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick as pig shit. <laughs> Now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. See, exactly as I said, he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilet, can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> well, he just lose the will. Well done. That was one of the best moments. Did we eat it tonight? What? Right, the Apollo 1 
Griffin tonight. I feel bad for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the front. the game. Yeah. Me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. It's <laughs> a trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she'd come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I don't know when you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at this time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face, get out of my face. I say, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good <laughs> oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> 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 Don't go there. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like you. I like your baby. Uh, you, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yes. No, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. And I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if. So excited. <laughs> it's like being on the X Factor all over again. <laughs> oh my God, I just love being a celebrity. <laughs> when my agent said I was doing an advert for Iceland, I rushed out to get a woolly hat, a woolly coat, and a passport. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honeys. I'm Hannah Saint, definitely. You'll come to my child's salon in Essex. I love Essex. I work in Essex. I live in Essex. It's all about Essex. <laughs> and I can spell Essex, I think. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, well, there's only one pricey. <laughs> Three things that you love about yourself: um, humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, humble good looks, humility, generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. I'm great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys. I like girls. I like animals. I know you do. <laughs> The country's on the hunt for the next Prime Minister. Out of all the, all the judges, who would make the best Prime Minister and why? Who would make the best Prime Minister? Out of the three of them. If it was a dictatorship, Simon Cowell. <laughs> um, I actually think 
I think I think Alicia would be a wonderful prime minister. I think she would. She's a, she. I think she's the na natural. Uh, no offence to your mother, but she's the naturally the nicest person on the panel. I think she is. There's nothing. You've got a you've got an edge. How do you but feel about that, Alicia? Because, because, I really fun, because I say the because I say bad you. things. Because you said the F word at eight o'clock at ITV. <laughs> <laughs> Moving I'm on to na that. I'm too naughty to be prime minister. Yeah. Who do you think has got a tattoo of you on them? Oh, obviously, David. You're going to say David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David! It is. <laughs> yes. I have a tattoo. This is the thing. Let's see the tattoo. 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 Yeah. I'm not paid enough money <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> Seriously? I'll tell you something. I actually feel sick. <laughs> but, but what That's is... That's weird. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to... Do you want to... it again? No, I just told you. Thank you. It's a weird I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I did it for you. Oh, Hello. I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> And today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is up. Absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on uh, going out of the jungle recently. Oh my god. I mean, I saw those worms and I was like, whoa. And then I saw even more worms and I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me eat the worms. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And then I was being sick everywhere. realised I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> 4 is the 1252 yeah. service to yeah. London Kings Cross. <laughs> and, from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number 8. Hi there. So my question is for David. Right. So David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great question. <laughs> What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, it is, it is magic. He is it's fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Do you get, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> I'll start with a joke. Seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy you've ever had. So I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child. You know, to, would you? 
I'll take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun, and shoot her. <laughs> my daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. <laughs> the whole pandemic was kicking off, and I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink. Oh, it's only half five. <laughs> Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof. All right, new plan. One more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I will get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> that was a nasty so, uh... Quidditch accident. <laughs> Do you know what I can't stand? Sorry, sorry, let me emphasize. Do you know what I can't stand? <laughs> but look on the bright side. I've never had to queue at Disneyland. <laughs> now, just I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there. If I do get too energetic, please stop me. I want to keep my benefits. <laughs> but, otherwise, otherwise how would I heat the jacuzzi? I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a pool. <laughs> You've been ghosted. If you don't know what ghosting is, that's where you're messaging someone, it's going fine, then they just suddenly don't reply, and you're like, okay, guess that's that. I'm just gonna walk away. It's been six years, I've got my pride. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my cut-off point, six years. Um, I don't know why it's even called ghosting, that's not how ghosts behave, is it? I mean, in my experience, ghosts outstay their welcome, if anything. I mean, <laughs> they keep bothering you even after they're dead, do you know what I mean? How needy is that? <laughs> it should be like, oh, I ghosted someone the other day. Oh, what, you didn't get back to them? No, no, I showed up at their house late at night and started messing around in the kitchen. <laughs> banging pots and stuff. You're like, I think that's called stalking, mate. Um, how boring would Ghostbusters have been? Just a two-hour movie about people ignoring each other. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to call? No one. I'm just going to leave it, actually. <laughs> A is for Alan Carr. <laughs> Camp but concise. B is for Brucey. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. C is for Connolly. Wind swept the big yin. <laughs> D is David Attenborough, spying on Creature King. E, Eubank, pugnacious with fist. F for funny man, Kevin Bridges, get my gist. <laughs> G's for gangster like Joe Pesci or his buddy De Niro. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? H is for hello, McIntyre here. <laughs> I, Sir Ian McKellen, thou shalt not pass! Jai Jonathan Wass, remembered for that Wassel Bland farce. <laughs> K, Kevin Spacey, an actor who looks tired. <laughs> L, Lord Sugar, now I don't care because you're five. Um, Andy Murray, I've just lost to Fedra. N for Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> 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 